Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Well, today we're going to be going into Kaipo, Kaipo but first, uh, I'm selling everything below the bronze hourglass and the tent. Uh, except for the sand prawl, obviously I have to use that. But yeah, I want to hold on to iron arrows. I actually will be using them. The dream harp I have a use for. Holy arrows are good. Feathered cap good. Ruby ring is good. Obviously I want the crossbow. Uh, in fact, I'm probably going to need to get another crossbow. Or bow or something. I don't know. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and... Well, first things first. Let's sell that stuff. Uh, in fact, I probably need to buy a bow, right? Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Emergency exit. Antarctic winds. I don't use the ice ones. They're not very good. Dark gloves, rod, leather clothing. Oh, I had two rods. Dark armor, dark helm, leather cap, leather cap. Everything else is good. I do, however, want to buy a bow. I, I believe I want to buy a bow. Uh, I don't have a... Oh, actually, I think I don't need to buy a bow. But I do need to buy some iron arrows. I don't... I mean, I could I could make do, but I'd rather buy them. Now, to combine them, I want to do that, and then move back to this one. And that'll combine them. You could also organize, but you can't manually put them over top of each other. You can only equip, I think, what, 50 arrows at a time? I forget the exact number. I think it's 50. Maybe it's 20 arrows. I don't know. Arrows are pretty good in this game. Oh, and one other thing before I talk to Rosa... Just go ahead and flip your rows. Make sure Edward's in the front. I know that sounds really weird, but just trust me. Use the Sam Pearl. We definitely want both those ruby rings for later. That's top priority. Hey, Rosa. How's it going? Nah, you don't really look fine. Yeah, I'm sure they did, but don't worry. We're fine. Yeah, who is Golbez? Oh. Yeah, the king has been kind of weird lately. You think Golbez is manipulating him? But, I mean, was Golbez there before? Or what? I mean, I guess we don't know. Maybe he was in the background. Maybe he was just like a lesser soldier or something. Or maybe he was an advisor. Who knows? Yeah, Damstian's crystal's already gone. Gotta go for Fabul and Troya next, I imagine. Uh, gotta figure out which one's closer, I guess. Oh yeah, this is Edward. Uh, he's a spoony bard. Pretty terrible. Oh yeah, Fabul, I guess, is closer. Oh yeah, didn't they say they had to cross uh, the Mount, Mount Hobbs to get to Fabul? Yeah. Yeah, thick ice. We gotta figure out how to get around that. Oh yeah, she can't cast fire. Yeah, if you notice, uh, Rydia doesn't have fire. Uh, she actually can't learn it. Which is funny, because you could actually learn Fire Aga if you leveled up high enough. <laughs> you could have Fire Aga before fire. Which is funny. Of course, that would take you dozens upon dozens upon dozens of hours, right? Ooh, something about the night, huh? Now, what's going on here? Uh, of course, insomnia. It's a common thing in their JRPGs. Especially for the protagonists. Oh, come on, dude. You're going to wake everybody up. See? You just woke the neighbors up. And now they're going to kill you. Okay, so the trick to this battle, attack the guy. If Everett is in the front row, for some reason you can hit him. If you're in the back row, well, sometimes you can hit him. I don't know why, but 
I mean, long range weapons don't work as well as they should to begin with in FF4, but they really don't work in this battle for some weird reason. I like Rosa's battle sweat. Uh, Rosa? Uh, Anna's battle little artwork there. But yeah. You hit the guy three times, he dies, he goes in your bestiary, boom, bing, done. And she dies. Again! <laughs> All set. Rosa, you have... Yes, you come with a bow, right. So... Oh, she actually comes with iron arrows. Okay, I didn't need to get more iron arrows then. Well, there's no harm in it. I forgot that Rosa come with, came with some. That's alright. So let's go ahead and drop those. Uh, well, drop, but unequip them. We want to. Uh, Rosa is right-handed, so you actually want to put the arrow... Like, here, I'll show you. If you equip, say, the bow in her right hand, and the arrow is in her left, that's what you get. But if you equip the uh, bow in her left hand, and the arrow is in her right, it's more powerful. I don't know why, that's just the way it works. So anyway, we want to equip Rydia with the uh, bow in her, the crossbow in her left hand. And we want to equip the iron arrows on her. And give the holy arrows to uh, Rosa. Why? Uh, why not? Let's move uh, Rosa into the back row. Oh no, we do need to... So we need to swap a rose. Have you there. Now, another interesting mechanic of FF4 is that the middle position has a slightly higher accuracy rating for spells, uh, particularly status spells. I don't know why. It's probably a bug, but it is a thing in this game. Uh, so, yeah, we want to have Rydia there uh, because she actually has Toad. Am I going to use Toad? No, probably not, but it's there. Eh, we're at seven minutes. Do we need to rest? No, I don't think so, right? We used the pot? Yeah. I forgot that Rosa came with so many iron arrows. Uh, of course she would. Jesus. Now, Rosa is an archer slash uh, white mage. I guess we can take a look at her. Uh, somewhat slow, but... She's very good. She's one of the best characters in the game. Uh, she's got the slow spell. Uh, hold is sometimes useful, but not really. Stop is more useful of the two. Got all the cure spells. I don't care about Libra. Sight uh, just shows you the world map. Actually, it works a little differently in uh, FF4 than it did in the SNES version, where it just kind of zoomed out the map a little bit. You actually get the entire map uh, to look at, which is convenient. Here's Mount Hobbs. Uh, I think the mountains actually look kind of odd, frankly. But whatever. Let's make a save. Not much in the way of chests here. Let's take a look at our equipment. Uh, Sissel is good. Rydia is good. Oh, you know what? I actually want to swap... Uh, the Bard's Tunic over to Rydia because that can protect her from silence. And that's more useful on her than on Edward, so why not do that? Good thing I checked that. I mean, it's not a big deal, but got the Lamy Harp, and Rosa is good. Yeah, she's good. Okay. All set, then. I guess I could have given Rydia that earlier, but I forgot. Although I don't think you can be silenced anyway in the the uh, antlion's cave. Head on in. We've got uh, quite a few enemies here. We have a cutscene to go through. Yeah, cast fire. Yeah, she can't. Ready, uh, Rosa. She's she's not high enough level, I guess.
That makes sense, actually. She's having PTSD. Yeah, she could always cast it. She just didn't want to. Yeah, it's a story learned ability. She can never learn it by level. <laughs> now she's all happy. That's good. Thanks, Rydia. Alright. We've got uh, quite a few different undead enemies here. If I can alt-tab to, you know, my notes. That'd be nice. Let's head on up. Uh, where are we going? There's not much in the way of new enemies, but they do exist. Ah, bombs. Uh, I don't think they have a weakness. No. They're actually pretty weak. Uh, just attack them. Rydia can actually... Eh, no, she can't kill them, but she can help with Edward. Always use Rosa's aim command, by the way. There you go. Oh yeah, I've saved Rosa's arrows for the undead. I shouldn't have wasted that there. That's okay. Have Rydia and Edward team up on enemies. Uh, Rydia, you could actually put in the front row, honestly. Oh. Edward actually one-shot that guy. That's abnormal. Okay, well, now I'm just gonna have Cecil take care of it. Simple enough. I think there's a chest over here. Ah, undead. Okay. Well, let's uh, clear them out a little bit. Aim. I don't think Cecil can one-shot these guys, because I think they're, like, resistant to... Yeah, but I think between him and Edward... Nope. I want to get one more dead, and then we'll cast fire all. Oh, come on, really? She might be able to one-shot three of them, but... Mmm, skeletons have 135. Mmm, it's close. It'd be close. She probably can. You gotta at least take out one, though. Oh, we do want to enter that doorway. Okay. Right, that makes sense. Most of the chests are over here. They're also weak to holy. Uh, just standard undead enemies. They're resistant to darkness, so... I don't know what the point of that save point is. It's early, but whatever. Ooh, gray bombs. They're just slightly harder bombs. Uh, arrows really aren't going to help you much here. Pretty much have to leave it to Cecil, sadly. You know, we could have used Rosie as prey here and there. Maybe we can have Rosa or Rydia and Edward take out the bomb. Oh, we confused them, actually. Ah, uh, he's blowing up. That's based on how much HP they currently have, by the way. That's okay, there you go. I was waiting for him to do that. That shouldn't do very much damage, because he's almost dead. There we go. Simple enough. Oh, that's Raze. That's the revive spell. And that battle can be rough, because they self-destructs. Healing magic is based on your spirit stat, by the way. Wow, really one step? Ah, spirits. I hate these guys so much. They're, uh, weak to holy. So you want to have uh, Rosa take them out. Don't use fire because uh, they absorb it. I think Cecil can damage these guys. But not very much. Ah, damn it, Rydia. Normally I don't use uh, 
that stuff with Rydia, but eh, she's useful for it for here. I wish I had enough holy arrows to give to both of them, but I don't. Oh, here we go. Always aim. I mean, it is worth considering putting Rydia in the front row for more accuracy, but I I wouldn't risk it. She's pretty pretty weak. But she can help with uh, help out Cecil and uh, Edward with it without you know saving MP at the same time. Now nah, we don't need that, do we? We have seven tenths. Ah, eh, we might as well. So we're still missing three enemies. Okay. Cockatrices are also good to fight with arrows. Head to the right. Oh, right. That's why the save point's there. Uh, I guess I could have saved, but... Well, I didn't. I get some holy arrows, which I want to equip on Rosa immediately. Do I want to change my setup? Possibly. Uh, I don't think so. Let me check here. The answer is no. We don't need to switch anything. I want to actually use the arrows for Rydia and Rosa. Oh man, really? I'm trying to have Edward attack first in case I get a lucky confusion in. Uh, okay, cool. We'll have Rydia try to hit that guy in the back, I guess. Take him out. You know what? Let's let's do some damage to the bomb so that way if they explode, they don't wreck me. That's pretty much how I like to deal with them. Because they're mostly going to explode anyway. So if you uh, spread out the damage, it won't murder you. Nice. That shouldn't be too bad now. Yeah. Really, Rydia? Really? I was counting on you there. Rydia's not very accurate. The aim command, by the way, if I since I didn't explain it, it um guarantees accuracy with arrows. Prey can restore uh, HP to allies. It's essentially like a cure to everybody. Or I think it's like in between a cure and a cure, but it can fail, so it's not great, but it's better than nothing. Heal up a little bit, and let's go. We'll have to get off this, uh, mountain. I think on the DS version, you actually get to control this. He'll sadly take some... Oh! In the SNES version, Yang actually gets attacked. That's right, they fixed that in the PSP version. That was a bug. The scripted battles actually have a bug in them with magic multipliers as well. And I guess the long-range weapons are kind of bugged too in them. But yeah, we gotta go help them take out a bomb even though we've taken out, you know, a lot of them already. I don't see what's so problematic about... Oh, it's the mom bomb. Okay, uh, Edward... Hide. Summon Chocobo. Go ahead and cast Slow. A Spider Silk, by the way, is a Slow twice. Slow stacks, but it only stacks once. Use Focus. It's basically the same as Jump, but for but uh, Yang can still be attacked. Yeah, I could have Edward do something, but why? Summon there. Slow again. Actually, you, you may want to not cast slow. Because... This is mostly scripted, but... I don't know, I like having the extra time to prepare for the inevitable. And here's the inevitable. Kiridia... 
And let's go ahead and defend. Defend. In the DS version, you have to defend. In this version, you don't really have to defend. We're gonna cast Cure on everybody. Once we can. Oh, you can also use the Darkness ability against those bombs, by the way. In fact, uh, that's a good idea. Okay, here. Hopefully nobody dies. Nobody died. Return. I didn't want Edward getting healed there. Uh, Chocobo summon. Darkness. Kick. Go ahead and aim at somebody to dish out some damage. I like to use Chocobo to take out one of the bombs. There you go. Yeah, why not salve? Salve a potion. Then we'll have Rydia join in on the fun with her arrows. That wasn't very good at all. Yeah, sadly, Rydia's arrows weren't very useful here. Sometimes they are. Sometimes they hit an enemy or two. But, oh well. Her rod doesn't give her any intellect right now, so I have no issue using uh, arrows with her. Yeah, we better get to Fabul. Probably. Okay, so we get Yang in the party. Uh, not much that he can do, but we can equip that feathered cap and a ruby ring on him. Which is why I kept them. He's good against the undead with his claw. His fire claw. He comes with focus, which... Uh, focus is... Basically, you do 50% more damage uh, total because of factoring in the charge time. Kick hits all enemies. It's basically darkness without the uh, without the um, you know the HP drain. And brace I never use. It's good in the DS version. It's terrible here. It's like a super a souped up defend, but all it does is use like protect on you. It's pretty bad. There's no more treasure here, but I will have to meet up with the remaining enemies. Should meet up with them, I would imagine. Who are these guys? Ah, cockatrices and gargoyles. Um, if you confuse the cockatrice or the gargoyle, uh, they will cast break or tornado on themselves, respectively. Break instantly kills them with stone. Tornado reduces them to critical HP. They never cast that normally, only when they're confused and only on themselves. Rydia is very, very good against the cockatrices. Well, kind of. Yeah, uh, Cecil can't one-shot them, so that helps. Let's see if I can confuse this guy. Show you, show you that. Yeah, there you go. Can I get a cure spell off on somebody? That'd be nice. Tornado, yay! All right, ready? Do the honors. Simple enough. Yeah, Rydia Cecil can team up and take out a cockatrice. 
they have about 149 HP. They're weak to uh, holy and throw elemental, or no, they're just weak to throw elemental attacks. The gargoyles are weak to holy and throw, so Rydia, or Rosa's aim is, is more useful against them. Okay. Well, this is unfortunate. Run! That was not fair, but that's okay. Yeah, if that happens to you, just run. It's a dead end, but this is the end of the dungeon, and I'm still missing an enemy. We're missing uh, blood bones. They're weak to fire and holy, so, you know. Okay. Here, let's, uh, let's actually use darkness and kick combo to soften them up. Ooh, not bad. Kick him. There you go. That helps. Okay. So let's meet up with Blood Bones. If I can't meet up with him right away, I'll edit out till I find him. Ah, uh, it's been a long episode, but whatever. Mm, you know what? Let's try to confuse him. I'll show you what I mean. Have him do that. Ooh, Rosa. Pretty almost got him. Aim on him, because he's weak to holy and throw. Not bad. There it is. Oh, it's not break, it's beak, right. It, it stones them, effectively. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna run for the rest of the enemies if hopefully this is blood bones. I think I can meet up with blood bones later, but I might as well do it now. I think it Eh. I think I can meet up with them later. I don't know. Let me check and we'll see. Yes, we don't need to meet up with Blood Bones right now. They're in the next uh, area. I swear to God. If that was Blood Bones, I would have been annoyed. Let's have the ladies uh, deal with them, shall we? Oh, AIM has a tiny charge time, but it's negligible. Nice. Oh, we learned stop. That's a very good, uh... Oh, I should, uh, rearrange this. Yeah, stop is excellent. It, uh, it works against a lot of enemies. You can't multi-target it, but it lasts a long time. It's very good, especially against dragons. Alright, well, that's good for now. Uh, we could make it to Fabul, but nah, I think we'll save that for next time. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.